Hi everyone, this is Mahinder and I am a registered migration agent based in Adelaide, South Australia. In this video, I am going to show you state-wise data of subclass 491 and 190 places remaining in each state. This video is going to be a little bit longer, so please stay with me until the end. Here we go. I am going to show you this information on my screen. Now, first of all, um, I have this screenshot taken from Department of Home Affairs website. You can see you have that link here. So this was the um, amount of places that were allocated for 491 and 190 for different states for financial year 2023. In the next screenshot, you will be able to see um, from 28th of February 2023, how many places were exhausted for subclass 190 and 491 by each state right and now i'm going to bring back to my first screen here um, in which i have made this uh, data and a little bit of interpretation we will do what is what can we expect going forward so let's get started with south australia if you see in south australia for 491 we had 5,300 places and out of which 75% nominations have been given. The remaining um, places are only 1,325. That was for South Australia for 491. If we look at 190, total places allocated to South Australia were 2,700 out of which 2,174 places have been exhausted and um, that means 80% of the places are gone in South Australia for 190. How many places are remaining? Total 526. So if you're living in South Australia, you really need to put um, you know, this calculation in your mind that these one places are remaining. So as, as long as, as soon as you become eligible, go for it, don't wait. Victoria, now Victoria is the state where 491 places were 3,400 and out of which they have given nomination for 1,508. Approximately 43% have been exhausted, but they still have 1,892 places left for one, uh, 491. However, for 190 in Victoria, out of 11,500 places, 6,521 6, have been given a nomination. Uh, that is 57%, but there are still a substantive amount remaining for 190, which is 4,979. Let's move on to Australian Canberra uh, Capital Territory, in which uh, for 491, 2002, um, 2,025 places were allocated for 491, and 43% of them have been exhausted, and you are left with 922 places for 491. However, for 190, they were allocated again 2025 places and out of which 704 has been given and there are um, 1321 places remaining for um, Australian Canberra, uh, Australian Capital Territory. So New South Wales, again, big numbers for 491, total 6,168 places were um, given to them, allocated to them, and they have only used 1,346 places and 4,822 places are remaining. That is a big news for New South Wales people and I think that is one of the reasons why they have relaxed their uh, um, criteria for 491 nominations. They have removed a lot of requirements uh, lately. So if you are living in New South Wales, that's a wonderful news. If we look at 190 for New South Wales, out of 9,108 places, they have already nominated 5,896 applicants, but remaining places are still more than 3,000 for New South Wales. Moving on to Queensland, total places for 491 were 2,000, out of which 792 have been given, um, but remaining places are 1,208. Um, out of 3,000 places for 190 in Queensland, they have given nomination to approximately 1,200 people and there are still 1,813 uh, nominations to be given by, New, uh, by Queensland for 4, uh, 190 visa. Northern Territory, out of 1,400, they have given total nominations of 462 um, for 491. However, they have 938 places still remaining. And if you look at... Uh, 190 for Northern Territory, out of 600 places, they have given uh, nominations for 412 people. Still 188 places are left. In Western Australia, if you see, out of 2,790 places, they have only given uh, 491 nominations to only 30% people, 
one there are approximately 2000 uh, places are remaining for 491 and if we look at uh, the 4190 for western australia again looks good so out of um, 5350 places they have only given nomination for 1763 um, applicants there are still 3587 places remaining tasmania on the other hand out of 2250 they have given nomination um, to 41 percent of people for 491 and there are still 1316 places remaining for 491 in tasmania um, on the flip side for 190 out of 2000 they have given nominations for 1168 people but there are still 832 places remaining in tasmania so what does this all mean so for uh, three uh, states that has a lot of uh, places still left are Victoria, New South Wales and Western Australia. And other states are also left to be around 30-35% of the places. Now we still have four months, to, approximately four months to go in this uh, financial year. If you are currently meeting the requirement, you must go for state nomination applications because um, these places won't last long. Sometimes the states hurry up a lot towards the end, um, which is okay, like happened that happened in South Australia last time. However, if you are currently meeting the requirement, you must lodge state nomination, either ROI or nomination applications. If you need any assistance, my phone number is just given on the screen. You can get in touch with me and we will help you out. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.